I uh, I thought today I would do a um, video on a idea I have for putting a well, it's themed a flower themed um, journal, I suppose you could call it. Um, basically, using some Calico Craft Part products. So, starting off with a couple of the MDF uh, rectangles. You can get these in a few different sizes. These are 10 by 20 centimeters. And I've just basically, because I'm going to put paper to, it towards the center, I've only done the outsides. So, I've just given it a coat of white gesso and then I'm going to just finish off to show you basically with some green because the papers are lemony coloured and because it's based on um, flowers I thought it would keep in with the, with the look and the nature theme so not too bothered about the, the uh, paint effect being um, not an overly solid paint the, the colour was just perfect so I went with this so I thought I'd show you quickly I mean we all know how to basically how to paint something like I said I'm not going not going overboard with it I'm not overly bothered about it looking absolutely perfect I believe that I always think nature's a bit random a bit does its own thing and I love it when flowers are just they grow where they grow they're not in rows and I always say you never see a weed in a row <laughs> people might argue with me and say mm, yeah well I don't agree with you there but fair enough whatever <laughs> right so I'm going to leave that to dry now and put my brush in water so basically like I said so the it's as you can as you've seen it's exactly the same on the other side so I'm just going to let those dry now and I'm going to bring in some calico craft part MDF flowers now then these I've given a light coat of white gesso first which I've let dry and then On this one, I've actually coloured it with some watercolour pen, brush pens. I just thought it might make it easier. So I will admit I've not really done, apart from that little one there, I've not really done done them. So we'll have to see how we go. But basically, I'll start off with the pale green first. Of course these can be painted with anything. I mean you could use your waxes on them, you could use acrylic paints on them. I just just thought I'd give this a go for a bit of a, a different look and just well I had the, the pens in moustache and I thought oh just give them a go and see what happens. So So that's a paler green. I then went in with a darker green just on the edges where you might get a bit of shadow. Again, you don't have to do this, this is just my interpretation of maybe the shadow effect that you would get. Yeah, you can see that. Now then, the bluebells. But my my papers are based on lemons and greens and slightly oranges. So I don't know. Now I must admit I haven't tried this. Maybe I should have done. But basically, I'm going to try and see what happens with a Posca pen. you do get white bells so I thought hmm of course if your journal is based on other colours you could do them blue or if you didn't want them to look like 
bluebells, you could paint them whatever colour you wanted. It's your journal, you can do what, what you want, it's up to you. So, so you're seeing what it looks like, like I am, because like I said, I haven't tried this. I need to go back to that one because I've not done the stem. Just where the flower heads are. scratchy isn't it <laughs> oh well never mind the thing about the pens and the uh, Posca is it does allow the detail of the actual MDF flower shapes to show through sometimes if you paint and use an acrylic paint or something you can sometimes lose all the detail like the little tiny bits in between so I think at least the pens are allowing that to show well, that's what I think anyway there we go anyway see what it looks like when it's done it's dry so basically doing all the same for the just make these watercolor pens go on a little bit less with a scratchy noise because they're more of a, a felt looking nib I suppose Now as you can see on the uh, gesso, I didn't make it overly, overly white, I didn't put two layers on, I just put one thin layer on. Um, basically because, again, I just thought it'd give a bit of the texture look, still being able to be seen. Which does seem to be working out actually. And the thing is with that, you can go where you need to go as well. I've not got the steadiest hand in the, uh, in the world to be honest. I do tend to... Especially if I think I'm doing a video and somebody's watching. Daft, isn't it? I mean, there's only me here, but a hole. Should they be white? Mm, not sure. Anyway, the green. <laughs> Don't all shout at me if they should be white. So, what am I going to do with these? They should be white, shouldn't they? Because they're snowdrops. So. Talking to you until I've got on concentrating. 
can't maybe do two things at once, but I'll try. Maybe in that on hindsight I should have done, you know, coloured some of these and then just showed you what I'm out to do because, you know, are you getting bored? Now then, I'm just going to go over the green again on these. For the simple fact, I think it just, it looks a little bit too, um, I don't know. The background might be showing a little bit too much. I'm just going to give it another base layer and see what happens. You're on a learning curve like me on this, so. I might say, hmm, actually, don't do this. Doesn't work. <laughs> Right, and then there's this one. I will list in the um, comments below the video when I upload it uh, what these flowers are because I can't remember. I found so much detail in these flowers. Oh, they've cut them so precise. Just a little uh, thing. Be aware when they're, they're coming out the backing sheet. If you've got a very, very, very fine little bit, um, be, be careful how you take them out of the backing sheets because they are very, very fine and they can easily just little bits can break off so but if you do it really really slowly use a pair of tweezers or something like that and ease them out rather than trying to pull or, sh or really push them out it's usually quite okay I mean I've had the odd leaf fall off um, actually on this one here because it was really really fine but um, it was only one, so to be honest, I've not bothered. And if I hadn't told you, you probably want to know. You can, of course, take as much time as you need. To do this, I mean, you know, hey ho, I'm trying to do this on a video. I've not got all day to watch me paint, have you? Right, so I've decided I'm going to go in with the colours of what's on the oh, and I've dropped it. Not this clever. So, like I said, me, me, um, me papers, as you will see. The lemons and this. I'm, I'm going to also put some um, like sticker ones that have got colours in as well. These colours in, so I thought, oh, I'll I'll um, I'll keep to this theme. I mean, you could put any colour, any colour whatsoever. There's quite a range of these flowers, so. And of course can be used for so many things but I just thought if I did this video basically putting quite a few of them together I don't know um, you could use them of course individual and separate them and you know but I just thought it would show you how easy it is to basically use them really and different ideas like I say for the colouring See, that shows more because it's a much more vibrant colour, isn't it? Right. And you see I went over the, the, uh, the green with the orange there, but that's not a problem because I've just uh, gone over it with the green and it's taken it away. That was good, wasn't it? Just 
got a bit hit and miss here. So, this is what we've finished up with. You could go over the white with the um, Posca pen again, I suppose. Or you could, if you wanted a more 3D look, you could use the acrylic paint. But like I said, I just like the fact that it still showed the, um, the detail of each, each petal which might be a bit more lost if it was painted with the thicker paints. Right, put them out of the way for the minute. No doubt I've got paint on my uh, watercolour paint on my hands. Oh well, never mind. Right, I'm hoping these are dry now. Can of course give them a blast with a heat gun if not. Right, now then. I've already prepared quite a lot of the stuff just, just to save some time. Because again, you don't want to see me doing all that faffing, do you? So I thought it would be easier if I just started with the inside and then we can go from the um well what I'm going to do with this, should I say. So actually ignore that bit what I've just said I'm going to do I'm going to have these as the outer edges of me um, journal so I have to think this is the yeah this is the outer yeah uh, do you know I really should have planned this a bit better shouldn't I but hey ho so roughly If you really want to crumple up with this, you crumple it up, spray some water on it, leave it to dry and it'll be really, really crumpled up. But being as it's for ties, I didn't really want that, but I didn't want it looking really straight either. So, I'm going to attach that like that. And I have got a bit of... This tip, this red glue tape is quite quite good for holding. More so because it's on the painted surface as well. Now then, I have to think what I'm doing now. Do I want that on the same side? I think I do. I hope I do. Excuse my dog if I can hear them barking. We live on a road where the world walks with dogs and I'm afraid my dogs just love to sit and bark at them. Right, so as I've said these are going to be the front so I already have sorted. So that, uh, now let me think, that will be the front. And it's not, that's it. That's going to be the front and that's going to be the inner back. So what I need to do, get myself organised yet. Yeah. My goodness gracious. Right, so I've cut this paper. And as I said, the front is 10 by 20. So I've cut this down to 9.5 centimetres across by 19.5 centimetres down. And it's going to go like that. So as you can see, you don't see much green. So there was no point doing it all in the middle and I'm going to stick it down with some glue. Now then before I forget, only on this front one I'm just going to rough the edges. I quite like 
paper that's got this distress look. Just think it adds a bit, a bit of texture to be honest. I'm good to build up some layers on these and of course I'm going to add the MDF flowers but the flowers will probably be placed roughly where I'm going to go then but only added at the end when I've made, put the, the folded zigzag papers inside otherwise I might find it hard to stick the inside pages down because it's all um, uneven at the front with the layers and whatnot. Right, so, so that's your front. Now then, this is the inside back, so you need, now need to turn that over and I need to find the, the piece that I've cut for the back, which is exactly the same size. This one, because it's at the back, I'm not going to overly layer it with different layers. And I'm certainly not going to put any MDF um, flowers on the back because you'll, you wouldn't see them. I quite like using a wet glue because you can just slightly move stuff about if you have to do. Right, so that is going to be the absolute back of the book and this will be the inner of the book. So I'm going to put that to one side just for the moment and I think we'll concentrate on doing some of the front for this. So got some bits and bobs together. And I actually should have probably put some primer on that as well, but anyway, I didn't, so well, then let me see what I thought. Yeah. So I've literally just used some designer paper. And to try and save some time, I've um I've roughly put together what I'm going to use for each sheet. Of course, when you're doing it for yourself, you don't need to do that, but I just thought it might make it a bit easier. And I'm going to get I'm a bit organised, am I? Not made a video for a while, as you can tell. Now, as well as, as, well as my distress paper edges, which I absolutely adore, I also like to just finish it off with a bit of distressing. So that is a bit of vintage photo distressing. And I'm literally just going to probably put it apart there. And I have some lace from the, um, which I think I might just put. This is all from the paper pad. Yeah, like that. So. As you can see, I cut it just slightly less than the length of the paper, but you don't have to do it. You can do it to what you want. You could do it there. You could do it longer. You could have it sticking out. Um, I don't know whether I want to use this strip from the bottom of the paper as well. To add a bit of extra design.
Or do I prefer it without? No, I think I am going to use a little bit. Distressing in the edges on this one, I don't think I'll rough this one up just to make it look a little bit different. So does it want to go that way or does it want to go that way? I don't suppose it really matters. Brilliant thing about crafting, you're doing what you want, don't you? Sure, it's your thing at the end of the day, so you do it how you want it. Right, yeah, you're just making some layers as you can see. How do I want that slightly all of it? Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to run out of glue in a minute, isn't it? Probably, probably. Right. So, bringing back in the one that I'm going to use, which is this one. It's going to roughly go there. Now then, I thought because that's snowdrops and you tend to get tulips next that I'd put this in. So again this was part of the paper pad and I could have coloured it in but I decided to quite like the contrast of it just being as it was. So I quite like the look of it at an angle. Oh, now you see. Now then, do I put something under there to keep that upright? And I probably will have to do so. What can I put? I can see I didn't think about this, did I? I didn't think about this one. Right, I'll need to find some in the cardboard too thick. No, I'll do that. Right, let's take a bit of cardboard. out the way but if it something lands on it it keeps it upright now then like I said I'm not sticking this down at the minute but that is going to go there so do I will I want some yeah I might put a bit of uh, Maybe, I don't know. And then, you might have noticed when I got me stuff I'm using out of the packet, that there's also these fabulous MDF bees that I'm hoping to put on here. Now then, what I'm going to do with this before I go any further is just see if the yellow... Um, Colours that, but it's not a black, is it? Deep grey. No. Is that a black? Is that a black? Do I have a black? Well, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? I haven't got a black. Right, I'll have to use a felt pen. I won't let a felt pen will work. So let's see if this will. Bear with me for a minute while I'm trying to find a black. 
Um. I'll be organised next time. Promise you. Because at the moment I'm not. I can't even find a new, new black pen. New black Topic. Right, I'll have to look for that after, evidently I'm not going to find it. Which is a bit silly. Oh, what have I got here? Oh, I've got a black memento. Let me see if that will work. Ah, there we go. That might work even better. Yeah, so you see I had a black memento pen in my stash. So that probably has actually worked better. Uh, what else have we got? just for an illusion and you probably can't see it very good on there but I actually can see the bit of which I might just add a bit to the wings as well like I said it would have been better if I had done that with um, gesso first which I didn't so like I said not a bit organised not a bit organised Right, so I'm going to put that, them pieces that I'm going to use, and put on just to one side, just for the moment. Right, I'm about me uh, battery ran out on me camera, so I'm hoping I can remember where it was. So I think I'm uh, probably repeating myself here, but I'm f I've finished that as far as I'm going on that side. So I'm going to turn it over so that I can do the center part next so what I've done is I've out of cardstock I've created a Z fold um, sectioned and as you can see I've already put some inner pieces on and this um, this is well, roughly 19.2 by 9.5. I think my trim is a little bit out at the moment. I was planning on 19.5, so that's why the pieces inside haven't quite got the border the same around the edges as they had on the inside because my trimmer, like I said, is playing up. So what I want it to do is to line up roughly on there, and then it'll line up on the front as well. So I think we'll start maybe with the front section because that's the one that's going to be important. And I think I'll just sort of eyeball it and see. Yeah, that will be fine. Now then this time, I think I might do I use glue? Hmm. Not sure. Do I want glue? Do you think glue would keep it? Mm. We can give it a go, can't we? Um, I seem to have lost my glue. Yeah, we're still not doing very well, are we? Throw me with my battery going. Anyway, we'll try this. So evidently this is on the reverse side. And I'm trying to line it up. 
press it down make sure that you yeah that's fine that won't show from the front and make sure that your if you've got a paper that does matter for the pattern it's in the right position and then I'm going to take this other one which again has to have the um, cord on the right way so make sure that that's also in the right place um, again eyeballing it from what the front will be like Like I said, the good thing about the wet glue is you can move it along a bit if it's not quite right as you want it. sections are dear to the back and the front sections are dear to the front and then of course you're going to decorate that and you're going to continue on decorating the front and you've got your things to tie so I think we'll do that now also I'll just remind myself because my battery had died of course I had some time so I've given some mini MDF bees and some mini MDF butterfly um, a coat of white gesso again very 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 light but I'm hoping that that will show next time when I get round to it the um, pens a little bit more right so we'll start off with the next sections. Now I've deliberately on these not distressed the edges with the distress tool. I've put the I've put the um, vintage photo distressing on. I think it just helps to give a border to the papers and I, like I said, I've said before, I like that look. But for inside it helps to keep it fairly flat for when you're you've got a few layers and especially if we're going to put some MDF pieces on the gaps are left so that it will on the line the corsetina line it will fold up because evidently if you went over your paper wider than the folds it wouldn't fold it would crease and buckle and you don't want that so I think I'll see what I've put to one side now for this front section this just section literally just just going with what I had in my stash and did have something planned the other day but then didn't do the uh, I didn't do the video straight away so I'm going to sort of remember what I decided to do so it could could finish up something completely different there's my dogs going berserk, berserk again oh, do excuse them this is why I don't do very many videos at the moment. They are very, very hard work. So I like to sort of 
decide what I'm doing first. So, um, now I've just bought these, I'm just fairly cheap off the internet. So, not tried them before. I'm hoping they peel off fairly good. Absolutely no guarantee that they will. In fact, they could be absolutely hard work. In which case, probably won't be using them. But, oh no, they're not too bad. So as you can see, I'm just using using them as again they're a layer an added layer yes they're a bit hard work to get off the back <laughs> So, aren't they? Now, which one do I want next? Good thing about stickers like this is you can sort of put them down. I'm still on the sheet to see where you want them to go. See, I'm going to have to practice with these a bit more though. But hey, ho, oh, got there in the end, haven't we? Right. So that's them. So I think I'll start with. These these, like I said, were all from the paper. The paper, so paper set that I've used so. and I'll again use a little bit of the vintage photo That was silly, wasn't it? I put the glue on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Definitely don't do that. Eee, me. I think maybe. I should have done this video another day because basically anything that can go wrong is going wrong like me battery running out and running out of pens and not knowing where they are and all that silly stuff right I'm going to edge all these embellies the vintage photo. Do it all in one time. It saves messing. Afterwards. Do you ever do that? You get a plan, you decide you're going to do something and then everything seems to go a little bit, you know, not wanting to work. Um, right. I will be this up a little bit again with some old packaging. Now I've lost my glue. Do you know? 
really, really, really do think I should just pack it in today. I'll be packaging for the rest. Honestly, I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> uh, who's nicking all my glue today? Because. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot find my glue. I've just put it down. Where has it gone? <laughs> oh, on the floor. Of course it is. Oh, dear me. If you're still with me at this point, well done you. Oh, dear me. Sorry about that. Not only did my battery die, it came up then that my uh, SD card was full. I couldn't take any more. And it's like, what? Right, I'm going to have to cut that down because it's too long. So that's fine. And more than likely, this is too much as well. To worry. These things are sent to try us and they are certainly trying me today. I had to go hunting for another SD card. I knew I had one, didn't know where it was. So I had to go hunting for it. Anyway, it took me ages to get it out of the packaging, as it does. But I'm like, so not surprised, to be honest. So not surprised. I think I'll lay that one up a little bit. As well. It's all just about layering and little bits of inter added interest with different heights. There we go. As long as you can't see the edges there and there, you're fine. Would you got you So I'll we'll just, just put it in a little bit more. Right. Okay, no worries. Pure natural beauty. Now then, I have a list somewhere of what I was going to use on this one, which was the butterfly. So I will. Decide on that in a minute where that is going and just see if I need anything else on here apart from no I don't like that Up and getting ten out of ten for for you lot for the for the um, the fact that I'm not giving up because <laughs> I honestly want to <laughs> just like <laughs> well I don't know curl up in a ball and just give up I think anyway carry on carry on carry on carry on <laughs> I feel a bit like I'm in a carry on film to be honest. Anyway, never mind. Right, we'll leave that as that for the, for the time being and try and see what I've remembered to do for this one. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. That'll be fun. Oh, look, yet more sticky things. Now then, what was I doing with this one? I haven't got a clue. Okay. This can be a little bit of the background the opposite way to again, so it doesn't look all regimented. But I think I'm going to this time just just give it a little bit of a of an edge because the pattern on the paper was uh 
a bit random but looks a bit wrong just having the solid cut edge oh and I think I need a new one of these because I think my blade's gone dead I have added a few years husband's tried um, sharpening it but as you can see even that little tiny bit, bit of a gap to work with still he tries for me bless him so we'll go with them there and then this just wants edging out of here and knowing my look today I will edge it out and it will all break because by this stage I have no faith that it won't <laughs> oh hey up we did we got it out I mean we did all right there didn't we So take that out in case I want that. It's somewhere or other, maybe not even on this one. Right, do I want any of these? Mmm, put some ferny ones on the back as well. Now I want them going that way, don't I? So I need that one. stickers are quite nice once you get them off the, the back they had a bit of uh, interest without uh, intruding too much now then I don't want them overpowering the, the flower though so at the top then there wants to be a lot at the top so do we want to yeah then we can leave a little bit of room for any journaling or thoughts maybe so do we want any more of these just to give a bit of interest or not or do we just no I think we'll just go with the one and then it's not overpowered I think so. Doing a lot of talking to myself, aren't I? Or am I really talking to you? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm talking to you. I do tend to talk to myself. Well, of course I say I'm talking to the dogs. And to be fair, they do look at me sometimes as if to say, right, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course you are. That's what you're doing. You make perfect sense. So it's more on the, the thing, and that one, so it's slightly coming over. Oh, that's okay. Now then. Now then, what I will probably do is I probably will add maybe that there, but I could do with something stamped in it, so... I'll just leave that there for now and I need to go back later and just to colour that so let's see what we've, we've what else we've got
does that want to be straight or does that want to be angled? Do I want that on or not? <laughs> not really sure about that. I made a hole in this tag and then realised that if I put some twine in it would raise it up too much for what I wanted to do with the way the iris was draped over it after so not a problem what I'm going to do is just have to make sure that one of the flower petals on the iris just cover up the hole which if I thought about it earlier would have been okay because it wasn't even there, I actually made it. But never mind, never mind these things. And there you see, you wouldn't know now that it was there, would you? So shh, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you it was there. Do we cut that straight or like that? I think we'll put that straight. It's all just about trying, isn't it? No, I didn't put the um, brown edging on round that one, but it doesn't matter. It's got it round the tag. And do we want that on there? I'll leave these butterflies and things to last, I think, and I'll have just a bit of an idea. I think about what I want to do with them after. Right, and then this is the last inside one. papers have this nice little frame effect. I'm put that up there for a change. And then this time I've got these stickers. Which I thought were very nice and frame down first. I'm up in the main frame for most of this. Honest to goodness and honestly today, the way today is going I can't guarantee. I really couldn't guarantee that that would be what happens? I probably, I'm probably not for most of it. Right, that's not too bad. I don't think. Now then, what else do we want? Side of the frame just adds a bit of another interest. And I quite like that one because it brings in with the colours of the artificial, the MDF flowers. If I can get this off. So delicate these. Look 
bit of a wobbly stem but then again that happens in nature as well well it is happening today in my book anyway because I just right let me see what's going on there work after and then this time I think I'm going to have that at the top to make a change Idea when the other glue's gone, you know. Must be buried under the mess somewhere. I mean, it is running out, but there was a little bit of life still in it, so wherever it's decided to go. Right, so now for the now because we've got this put together. We can now decorate with the MDF pieces. So, I'm just going to miss about where I think they might look nice. Might not even use all of them, I don't know yet. Yeah, might not use all of them, but I'm going to bring in some of the mini bees and butterfly. And again, using my Ecoline pen, because these have been gesso, the, the pen definitely shows up better than if you've just put it straight onto. you want the bee and find me black memento again So cute these bees. Like I say, you can paint them with anything you have in your stash. Now then, where am I going to put him? Oh, he goes nice because he, he fills in with these orangey bits, doesn't he? So do I. Use some of the paper ones as well. Right, so 
basically. I have some stamps on offer, on, on offer, on order. They've not come yet. And to be honest, I'm thinking of um, stamping a few of the words from it on the pages. But like I said, they've not come yet. They might even come today. Our post is a bit very reckless at the moment. It can be anything from half ten to quarter to six anywhere in between so it's a little bit hard work knowing and the way we're going today it probably won't arrive today anyway and certainly not in time for the video so you might just see that on the pictures of the finished finish thing at the on still pictures after mustn't forget about me B nearly forgot about me B then to be or not to be oh dear me I'm rambling now I might do is finish, I might colour some more um, bees because you get plenty in the set. So I might colour some more bees and some more butterflies. And again, stick them in as well. But I think I'll wait till I've got the, um, the words that I was on about just to see. Right, so that should all cost a tina down. Yes, it does. There we go. Right, so I think I'll do the, the, the front one like this and then it's not quite as raised up. You can, of course, put paper on the back sections as well. I've not bothered for this, this uh, video, but you could. Right, so I think I mentioned before, before my catastrophe with my batteries and my SD cards that I was going to finish the front last which is what I'm doing now so just sticking a bit of random cheesecloth down and then some glue on all about adding layers and a little bit of interest and then this of course is the bee that I haven't gessoed but it gives it a bit different look Well, that's again fine and I think there we go that'll do for now except I am waiting on some some stamps so I'll uh, cause I'll probably just put pictures in the book in the end of what I did and there we go fair enough it does flap open a little bit that way you could I suppose I could have put the ribbon all the way around but then you'd have to have it wide enough and long enough that it would undo so don't think I would like that idea. 
maybe you could put some paper down and make it as a spine yeah maybe that's for next time but for this time that's just giving you an idea one idea of how you can use the MDF wood pieces with other bits and bobs in your stash. Right, I'm going to see now if this has worked. Probably not, it's probably not recorded. So, see you soon. Bye.